Hello everyone, this is Luthu and welcome to a new video. Um, I haven't done one of these update vlogs recently. I promised you that I was going to keep going with them and this is me keeping keeping on. Keep go keeping going on. Keeping keeping penguin. So, now that you understood what I was trying to say, um, I'm just here to fill you up in how things are going, how work's going, the videos, the live streams, and all that. Um, as you know, and for anyone new around here, um, basically, I've been doing YouTube for a long time in Spanish, and I recently decided to start kind of like from scratch in English, right? Um, so I'm doing live streams in English and doing videos uh, for this channel in English too. And I have been on vacation and stuff like that. And, and so it's been like good 10 days that I didn't do anything. And now I'm back and I've been trying to work um, on making content for the YouTube channel, like making more videos that I can live here and stuff like that. Um, But at the same time, and although I'm happy that I'm, I've started kind of because it takes a while until you start, uh, I also feel this sense of like tiredness in me. And I wanted to talk a little bit about that because I still don't know what it is. I've been feeling that for a while and I'm assuming that a lot of people probably call it like a lot of my peers call it creator burnout or... I don't know, I don't know, a stress, something, um, but I'm at a point where I feel it, but I still don't want to stop, you know, I still want to keep going, because there's something about it, I can, I can tell the moment where it happens, it's like, when you have been doing it for a long time, in my case, I've been doing YouTube for a good seven years, or something like that, um, and you reach a point where you just start not It's not not being creative, you start being like really heavy. Like when you're making content, when you're like checking on how the videos are going, how the views are going, how the posts are going. And I think it has to do with the feeling that success has on us. Um, I can remember and I can tell and I can still look back and, and kind of feel uh, how it is when your channel starts to like boom, right? Like um, when you go from having a channel with 10,000 subscribers, 20, 30, 50,000 subscribers to a channel that has a million, right? And how your videos start growing a lot and everyone is like, kind of like coming in and like there's a flow of new viewership all the time and you have this really overwhelming sense of like, it's working, everything is going great, um, it, it, people are excited about what I'm doing. And after a while, it's not that it goes down, it's not that people stop being interested or anything like that, but you kind of become more of like a, a thing of their lives, a normal thing, a thing that they're used to, and you're not like a new thing anymore. Um, and that's obviously something that slows down things a little bit. It's fine, but I think that that lack of feeling like you're killing it is what leads to a lot of people feeling that burnout. The fact that you've been doing the same thing for a long time and you expect to have those results and you work towards having that feeling again and it just doesn't happen. Um, so that's why I've been saying that although I'm feeling a little bit like that, I've been, I mean, to be honest, I've been feeling like that for the last two years, probably two years, a year and a half. And, and my philosophy has been I'm just gonna keep working. I'm gonna keep working because it's all I need to do. Even if I have to put myself into automatic pilot for a little bit, like a month here and a month there, when that happens again, when I have that feeling again and I have that achievement again, then it's gonna feel amazing and it's gonna take me out of that sensation. I don't know how it is, like the end game for this is, because you're always meant to like grow and then It's slow down and then grow and slow down. Like it's always meant to be like that when it comes to entertainment. Like there's there there's never been anyone that has been the king at something forever. There's always someone new. And especially with entertainment, I feel like on the YouTube space, on the Twitch space, people want to change that all the time, like that. Like it was PewDiePie and then it was someone else that it was coming and then it was someone else and then the Twitch thing and Shroud and Doctor Disrespect and then Ninja and people want to change Ninja and, and have another new guy. Who is the new guy? Who is, who is, who is? Um, so that's why I'm saying like, I don't want to chase that forever. Like I don't want to chase that feeling. Like I, I don't want to lie to myself 
or I'm not stupid enough to think, I guess, <laughs> I, I prefer putting it like that, that you can make that last forever. Um, but when you've been doing something for a long time, you can, you need a little like sweet something, you know what I mean? Like you need to feel like things are working um, because if not, like the air just becomes really thick and it becomes really depressing, no matter what the job is. Like obviously I'm talking about YouTube and Twitch right now because it's what I do for a living, it's my professional career. Um, but I'm assuming it could, it could be with any other job where if you're not feeling like you're moving forward, it just becomes a really dull thing to do. You know, imagine if you're in an office work of any kind and not only you're not promoting, you feel like you're being like demoted. It's, that's the word, right? In English, like demoted all the time. Instead of going on to a managing position, you're slowly getting less responsibilities because that's how it feels on YouTube after you've been doing it for a while and your views go down a little bit or the amount of subscribers that you get per day. It's still amazing, don't get me wrong. Like if you're getting like thousands of, of subscribers per day, but it's not the 15,000 subscribers per day that you used to do, 20,000. Um, so it's psychologically something that it's it's hard to deal with and you have to like stay calm all the time. And that's why I was saying that I prefer to just keep going instead of doing what a lot of people do, which is like taking a long break. I would love it. I would love it if I could take a, a three month break from making content and just focus on myself to see what I want to do and stuff like that. But I love doing this. It's just the, the results that are not working, you know? Um, so I'm just, I think I'm, I'm just a fighter. I just want to keep fighting until <laughs> there's nothing left in me. Um, and I might as well just make it happen while I'm fighting. Uh, so I don't know, I want to see what you guys think. I want to hear your thoughts. If you've seen other creators going through something like this or if you've seen other people like conquering this or giving up or, you know, like assuming the defeat, whatever. Like I want to hear your thoughts. So yeah, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys in the next one. We'll keep talking about this kind of stuff.